We do it with the threat and, if necessary, the imposition of additional tariffs. I have stood behind the President 100 percent on the imposition of tariffs against China, and thank goodness we have the first President in any of our lifetimes who's actually done something to bring China to the table, who's actually made the Chinese stand up and face the reality that the, Ch that the United States is not going to take it anymore. But the President needs people in Congress who will be with him and won't stab him in the back. Now, Roger Marshall likes to tell you about how he votes with the President all the time, but when the going gets tough, he's not there. Last May, he published an op-ed in the Kansas City Red Star, which said, and I quote, Kansas soybean farmers can't stand another round of tariffs. That op-ed landed on the desk of the Chinese President, I'm sure, and it sent a clear message. Republicans in Congress aren't going to support this President. Hold on, because he can't hold on because his Republicans are defecting. Now, he'll say he didn't mean to hurt the President, but I tell you, it hurt the President's position gravely. Marshall's position on China has not been a strong one. After he took a junket to China, privately funded, he then came back and voted twice to fund the WHO, which, as we have all learned now in the wake of the coronavirus, is China's puppet. We have to have someone who's willing to stand up to China, someone who doesn't kowtow to China, and someone who stands with the president when the president does what is necessary.